right, fifth grade, lesson 61. This is on using letters to identify geometric figures. Okay, so today um, we're going to move into a little bit of geometry. Okay, so draw this picture on your paper right now. Okay, okay, and then label it with these letters. You got it? Yeah. Okay, now, <clears throat> first thing I want to talk about is where these letters or where these lines meet. Do you remember what that dot is called? No. Okay, it's called a vertex. Okay? Not really important because I've taught it before, but it's not really that important in this lesson, okay? So each of these, there are three vertexes on this um, shape. You see that? Okay, if I were to ask you to label this triangle... This is how you would label it. I would say this is triangle, and I would actually draw a triangle. This is triangle A, B, C. I could have also labeled it. This is triangle B, C, A. Okay? Do you see another way I could have labeled it? C, B, A. C, B, A. Yes. Okay? So, it doesn't matter. We just need to make sure that it flows around. Okay? Now, if we were doing a square, I want you to see a square. Okay, and this is A, B. If you want to draw this, you can. It's not that That's important. That's a rectangle. Well, yeah, it's in a, in a map. Okay, so what I want you to see is that if I were to label this, okay, if I were to label this uh, rectangle, here's what I would say. This is rectangle, I can name it A, B, C, D, rectangle A, B, C, D, or I could do B, C, D, A, or I could do C, D, A, B, or I could even do B, A, D, C, but I could not go C, A, B, D. It yeah. has to go, Eli? It has to go in a fashion like this or like this. You can't skip around. Do you understand? Feel like you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, tell me another way I can name this. Uh, C B A D. C B A D. Very good. Okay. So as long as it flows going around, then that's good. Okay. What is a way I could not name this? D B A C. D B A C. Very good. Okay. Excellent job. All right, now, let's talk about lines. So far, can you remember and tell me what that is called? Let me go and draw all of them up here so you can see. Okay, these are three different kinds of lines. Okay, and this one is called a line. Okay, pretty simple because that's kind of what we're working with. Okay, but what makes it a line is, do you see these arrows right here? That means that it keeps going on and on and on and on and on forever. But so that we don't have to keep using paper on and on and on again, we stop and put these little arrows showing that it keeps going. See, so that one's considered a line. So I would say this is line AB. Now this one, what do you notice about it? It stops. It stops, point. okay? And so this stopper, the ones that have the stoppers on the ends are called a segment. And the way that it helps me remember that is this S, stoppers, segment, okay? Got it? So I would say this is segment AB, if I was to say it. And then this one, do you remember what this one is? Come this on. one is a ray. And I kind of showed you that by oh, yeah. drawing a stingray, okay? Remember his <laughs> tail? It's a stingray. Or a lot of people like to think of a sunshine and the rays. So it's got a stopper here. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Okay, so however you want to think of it, but either way, it helps us to see that it has one stopper and one part of the line that continues <coughs> to go on and on and on. Okay, now... So if I were to label this and actually write out what this says, Eli, you would say this is line AB. 
Uh -huh. See that? This, you would just draw a line like that. You don't even have to worry about putting the stoppers. Okay, AB, this is segment AB. And then this is ray AB. If I were to ask you to label it, that's how you would label it. <coughs> See how I did that? Okay, now. <clears throat> Draw this rectangle on your paper, please. Then we're going to label it A, B, C, and D. Okay? Now, here's the question they ask me. In rectangle A, B, C, D, name the segments that are perpendicular to A, B. Now, what does this mean? Is that a line, a segment, or a ray? A segment. Okay, so what it's asking you is to name the segments that are perpendicular to AB. Now, do you remember what perpendicular means? Like, it same. makes a square corner. Okay. Okay, so this would be a perpendicular. Okay? So when two lines. Make a square corner. It's called perpendicular. So what they're asking you is, listen to this. Name the segments that are perpendicular to AB. Okay. So first let's identify what AB is. This is segment AB. What is perpendicular to that? DC. DC. Perpendicular. What makes a square corner with AB? The C and... C and A. Well, A goes down. Okay, so this Wait, line. is A going left what or down? What connects, basically this is the line we're looking at, the segment we're looking at. What makes a square corner with this line? <coughs> C. This one. Right? Oh. So the answer would be D, A. And because it's a segment, we would put a segment on top and not a line. Couldn't it be C, B too? A and C, B. So I put a comma and put CB. Okay? Now I could say AD and BC, or I could say CB and DA. I don't, it doesn't matter how I do the letters. Because yeah. it still forms the same line. You see how BC is the same thing as CB? So I could put BC right here, and it still be the correct answer. Okay. Understand? Yeah. Okay. So answer this question. What Segment is perpendicular to DC. AB. Perpendicular, not parallel. What is perpendicular to DC? A. A and, and B. Huh? A and B. Describe the line. Like the A goes to the D and makes yes. the corner. Yes, so it's line AD. Uh, line AD. Or well, I'm saying A could do it and B could do it. Right, but you can't just say that because A is an angle. Oh. You have to say AD, BC. You see what I'm saying? Pause it. What I was saying, um, you cannot label just saying A because, Eli, A could mean this or this. Yeah. But it's actually a label that makes it that angle. That's We're not even talking about angles in this lesson. So... Basically, you need to say AD or BC or CB and DA. You got it? Yeah. So, what line or segment parallels with AD? BC. What line parallels? I'm sorry, parallels with AD? CB. CB. What line is perpendicular to DA? BC? No. Perpendicular. I know. What line? DC. Huh? DC. DC. Or, one more, AB. AB. You got it? Yeah. Feel like you understand well? Mm hmm. All right. Now, let's move on. Go ahead and draw a line on your paper. What line? Like this. A line. And here's how I want you to label it. P, 
Okay. Okay, here's what it tells me. The length of leg of <coughs> segment PQ, this portion, this segment, from here to here, the length of segment PQ is three centimeters. I'm gonna go and write that down to show me that it's three centimeters. Okay? okay. Then it says this the length of segment PR, so from here to here is eight centimeters. Then it asks me this question, what is the length of QR? Uh, what would I do to figure that out? Six, almost centimeters. Six. Almost, five, five. Okay, so what you did is took this total being eight, and so three plus five centimeters makes eight centimeters. So you would tell me that segment QR equals five centimeters. That tells the teacher or whoever exactly what you're saying. Segment QR, and it's a segment, it's a portion, actually it's a ray, because Q and R. See that, Eli? Q is a stopper, R keeps going. Yeah. Okay, so it's actually five centimeters, okay? So QR, we can actually say that, okay? Got it? Got it. All right, now, QR is five centimeters. Now, last one, Eli. We're gonna draw a little, angle, kind of a little bit of an angle, of a, kind of like a rectangle, okay? But it's T, R, S, T, Q, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, this is a quadrilateral. What do you remember what quadrilateral means? Four-sided figure. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is quadrilateral QRST, an angle, see how I'm saying angle, S, angle S is an acute angle. Do you remember what acute means? Mm -hmm. What? It means like below the 90 degrees, below 90 degrees. So this would be 90 <coughs> degrees, a perfect angle, and S is more like this, right? Yeah. So it's less than 90 degrees, which is makes it an acute angle, okay? And because it's an acute angle, they're wanting us to figure out another acute angle in this figure. And you can just label it because we're talking about angles. So this would be angle S. Okay. Do you see another acute angle? Q. Q. Very good. Okay, you see how it's thin right in there? This angle is acute. Okay, and these two would not be acute. They're actually bigger. They actually extend far, far greater than 90 degrees. So it would um, not be considered an acute. It would be considered an obtuse. Okay, all right, that is lesson 61.